Today we are talking about Taekwondo, South Korea's national sport, a hugely popular martial arts style studied by over 70 million people. Wow, people use it for different reasons, maybe to gain shape, for self-discipline, self-defense. Either way, Taekwondo is everywhere, including fighting games. It's even part of the military training. Today we are looking at over 30 Taekwondo users in fighting games. Imagine to say I was going to do a top 15, then that turned to top 20, top 25, now 30. Good grief. Oh, and by the way, a couple of people said they haven't seen any of my videos in ages. People, you need to click the notification bell, otherwise YouTube serves you the videos when they want. Do it once and that's it. Problem solved. Let's go. And I can tell you right now, some of you haven't heard of half of these games or these characters. Guaranteed. Number 30. Fight Fever. Fight what? <laughs> yeah. We're starting from the bottom of the barrel, people. Wait for it. A Korean game, obviously, a Street Fighter to knock off three Taekwondo practitioners. This fake Ken and Ryu and the Grand Master. Wow. By the way, if you're thinking, is this game whack? Um, yes, it is. Now we're digging deep. Aggressors of Dark Combat, Lee. A Korean martial artist studies Taekwondo. Where his gym got wrecked by a German street fighter. Now he's out for revenge. That is it. Oh, and by the way, people, that is not skate. The follow-up to Savage Rain, right? If you know, you know. His name is Kim. And guess what? It's practically Kim with a staff. Cool looking special. Taekwondo and Bojutsu. A Korean detective out for just... Go figure. Fighters Impact. What? People are like, what the hell is this? Sanson. Not even Samson. <laughs> Taekwondo expert. Obviously trying to go with the virtual fire shit here. What do you think of his kicks? Judges footwork. in Spain, 21 years old. Don't get too attached to me. Apparently considers himself a playboy. Versus. Let's see. Let's redo Fire's Impact, turn it into a hood game, and make it about gangs. Enter versus. That's right. VS, that's the name of the game. PS1.
What's this? The freaking bouncer. What a throwback, right? Of course, this is a 3D beat em up with a versus mode. To be honest, I'm just gonna include them from now on. There's only like three I'll include Urban Rain, Fists of Vengeance, and the bouncer. They were mentioning, I guess. Winner, Kolefo. Kolefo, their Taekwondo expert. You messed up my hair. Sorry, I should have taken it easy on you. Hold up, a power instincts representation. Olaf. This dude is so cool. He fights with shades and his hands behind his back. This dude could kick your mustache off your mouth. He is nice with the taekwondo kicks. Kadesh called, he wants his special back. <laughs> Fighters history represented, come on. The backstory, her parents entered the tournament and got clapped by the last boss. Her dad offed himself. Yomi is now after the last boss for revenge for her father. Where have we heard that story? Ryu's pose, of course a Taekwondo expert, just Chun Li's lightning kicks, literally has Gao's sonic boom. A Yomi, Chun Li called, she wants her legs, her lightning kick and her backstory back. <laughs> wow, really pulling them out now, Ergeist. You know, that game that had all those Final Fantasy characters running around in an arena fighting each other. This is their version of Huarang, clearly. Han Dae Han, a Taekwondo action movie star with a prosthetic leg. Dude can literally kick rockets. Kakuto Choja, Vegard, Norwegian kickboxer, born into a rich life, but one day a fortune teller messed up everything by telling him he was in danger. His family got shook, told him to go study Taekwondo to protect himself. He turned into a sick head, started wearing a mask. He was paranoid. Let's not forget Bariki Wan, Yong Song. At the age of 18, he was already the national middleweight Taekwondo champion. I put the bouncer right, let's put Urban Rain. Once again, this is a 3D beat em up with a versus battle mode. Park right here, this Taekwondo master is nice with the kicks. Probably give Huarang a run for his money, right? And remember people, these are all Namco characters. They could actually bring back anyone they wanted from this game. But what are the chances of that happening? Namco ain't checking for these characters. This is probably the one and only time you'll ever see them. Let's go. Round one. Fight. Let me try this combo. Nice. Shits. 
Luddy Roar represented Jenny the Bat. Are you crazy? Jenny's footwork is insane. That flamingo stance. Listen, if she doesn't kick the crap out of you, she can just turn into a bat and devour you. Simple. Spectacular kicks. What's this? Two bloody raw characters on a list? No way. They got him down as ninjutsu, but if you play the guy, you see him using taekwondo kicks all throughout the match. And if all else fails, turn into a crow. Wash them. Stand up. Fighting layer. And yes, your eyes are not deceiving you. And no, that's not Huarang's cousin. Namco and Arika thought, let's not even bother create a new character. Let's just put Warang in the game and change his name. <laughs> Enter home. Wow. Probably give Warang a run for his money, if not be him. Got some sick kicks. Hey Hong, I think Warung's gonna make that call. He wants his everything back. <laughs> I guess it didn't even matter. Because how many people actually played this game? How many people actually know who this character is? Exactly. King of Fighters represented Mei Li, one of many Kim Kapon students. She fancies herself a superhero. We're gonna get a Mortal Kombat entry up in there. Sonya Blade. To be honest, this is not exactly the best <laughs> display of Taekwondo. At one point, they even gave it to Night Wolf in Deception, then removed it the next game. This shit was kind of weak, to be honest. Mortal Kombat doesn't actually have a full on Taekwondo user. Serena had Taekwondo in the shitty Game Boy Advance version, but that was about it. Here's a tip. In MK1, if you're bringing back Serena, give her Taekwondo as her full style. She will make the top 10 easily. Virtual Fighter represented Sarah Bryant. Now they have her listed as mixed martial arts because you see her do a little Jeet Kondo kick and a couple of grabs. But guess what? 70% of the time you face a Sarah player, you are being bombarded with Taekwondo kicks. In and out of that flamingo stance, Sarah is a kicking monster. Spectacular grabs, easily some of the best kicks in any fighting game. Sarah is sick. Can't really place her any higher though because she's not 100% dedicated to that style, while the others are. Try again in a few years. What's this? Maximum impact? <laughs> wow. This is more or less the female Kim Kapwan. Another one of his students. Didn't hang around long though. I think it was two games and she was out of here. We ain't seen her since.
soul caliber represented. And these guys are way back in time. So they were doing the fighting style before Taekwondo. Taekyeon. These guys are the OG Taekwondo users. Young Sung and Huang. I'm guessing everyone knows who she is, right? King of Fires again. Basically, Kim's master's bird. It's waifu. She likes to toy with her opponent. Kind of like jewelry. And of course, you get this finish. Disrespectful shit. Kim Kapon's boys, his sons, Dong Kwan and Jae Hoon. And of course, you got the trope pair of one is cocky, arrogant, and lazy, while the other one is serious and about his business. One can use lightning, one can use fire. And as you can see, Kim obviously taught them well. These characters are sick with it. Joon Hoon, Kim's friendly rival. This guy's so nice with it, he fights with one hand behind his back and only kicks. One of the premier kickers in fighting games. Kim's master, Gang Il. Of course, Kim has surpassed him, but dude is obviously physically stronger and hits harder. Dude makes it this far because he's Kim's master. Credibility automatically established. Number 5, Dead or Alive, Rig, simply one of the best Taekwondo users in any fighting game. Dude's kicks are crazy. Amazing combos, cool looking grabs, Rig is sick. He even took it to the likes of Jan Lee. Credibility right there. Street Fighter's Taekwondo user, Juri Han. Now when Juri Han first showed up in Street Fighter 4, everyone was like, damn, she's the best newcomer. But that wasn't hard to do, when two of the characters you came in the game with were El Fuerte and Rufus. Two shit characters. But it turns out Juri Han was a star, and has leapfrogged so many other Street Fighter characters. Juri Han has clout and is immensely popular. Terrorized Kami and Chon Li made an immediate impact. She's a problem. Tekken's first Taekwondo user, Beck. This man's skill set is elite. After all, he is Warang's master. 
didn't do too well in the story mode though, right? Law clapped him, Ogre knocked him out. And now that you see Warang using some of his moves, that might have been the last time we ever seen Beck. Keep in mind, he is currently missing in action. Not officially confirmed dead. Let's get that clear. Last two. Drum roll. This is why everyone's there, right? Number two spot goes to... Huarang. Right now, half the people watching the video said no, and half the people said yes, and they know why. But let's talk about Huarang. Easily the most popular Taekwondo user right now. Currently the face of Taekwondo. Huarang is sick has obviously surpassed Beck in terms of popularity ages ago, even in terms of the story. So why is Huarang not number one? That's because the number one Taekwondo fighter is Kim Kapwan. Right now you got half the chat saying why, how? And I'll explain it crystal clear. Yes, Huarang is more popular, but Kim has been down since. Day one shit down since 1992 to be precise and let's get something clear just because you're the first doesn't make you the best Richard Meyer was the first capoeira user in fighting games and he has been surpassed and damn near forgotten it's about your legacy it's about your impact about how you held up with time Kim is still relevant today don't you get it Kim has influenced more characters than Warang we're just on a top 30 list Two of the characters on the list were ripping off Warang. Most of the others either related to Kim, his students, his sons, his master, his rival. This man has done way more. He has influenced way more characters, including Warang himself. Simply a fact. Kim crawled so Warang could walk. Okay? He's currently the face and the most popular, but Kim is the godfather of this shit. And that is it. Probably do the top 15 best capoeira fighters, top 20 boxers, hell street fighters coming out this week, a ton load of content incoming people, we are going in.